We're here as people who helped bring about the Good Friday Agreement. The important thing is to celebrate what was achieved 25 years ago because it ended a long period of conflict. My mother was born in Donegal and I used to visit Ireland every year. I remember when the troubles began, therefore, and the letters I got from my family in Ireland, the tone of them changed and it became very bitter and very angry about the violence that had then begun. Hearing from Tony and Bertie was definitely important, especially as young people. In times of conflict, we know how far we've come today from the Good Friday Agreement. I remember visiting Belfast and you would see barbed wire around the city. There would be soldiers patrolling. This was a lockdown place. So that's the important thing is to just remember from where we came. It, it, it's for all of you to, to take an oath to keep a peaceful, prosperous, dynamic uh, Northern Ireland to, uh, to keep on building a, a better Northern Ireland. In times as difficult as now, it's important to look back into the history of what we were and how far we've come as a, as a country. Be confident, I'll be able to have a successful future than what it was back in those 25 years ago. Our work is very much about trying to make the rising generation a, a better generation for themselves and give them the opportunities they deserve. They need to fight to change the agreement and make sure it stays and updated of how the times are. Put your differences aside and, you know, just come to an agreement at the end of the day and anything's possible. The, the young people actually have a message for us, which is, you know, get on and make it work because these old divides are not nearly as important as the new challenges.